Hello everyone, my name's Matt Johnston and welcome to The Interesting Times, which is a little bit of Monday morning madness in looking at the funny side of UK politics. The Labour Party have been beset on all sides since they took office from the press, the public being quoted in the press, and the protesters that are being pictured in the press. And they are fighting back. Well, one of them is, oh, leading with the left. How very Labour. You won't ever threaten me again, will you? The MP, the MP, you won't ever threaten me again, will you? Leave it. The MP are run corn, fucking smacking someone on the floor. The MP are run corn, smacking someone on the floor. Get out of that film. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And you won't threaten the MP ever again, will you? The MP are run corn. Now. It may not be clear from that video, but that was the MP for Runcorn smacking someone in the mouth. Mike Amesbury. What can I tell you about Mike? Not a great deal. Labour MP since 2017 and has been Shadow Minister for Housing and Planning in 2020 before becoming Shadow Minister for Housing in 2021 before becoming Shadow Boxing Minister as of last night. Sorry, shouldn't make jokes. Now, from 2022 to 2023, Mike was actually stalked by a constituent. Nothing physical happened, but it was serious enough for the individual to be given a suspended prison sentence and five-year restraining order. The other point is there's going to be a by-election. There is. You can't just punch someone like this and not expect there to be consequences. And Labour have acted quickly and sacked him. Good. But honestly, why can't Labour resolve this dispute in a refined, respectable, civilised manner? You know, like the Tories. One thing that members have said everywhere I've gone throughout the country is that they are sick and tired of infighting. If they think this woman gets us, she understands our concerns, and actually on her record she's done well, there's no scandal here, she wasn't sacked from any job, there's no integrity issue, no weird funny donor... In case you're wondering what she's talking about when she says that with her she wasn't sacked, that's because Robert Jenrick was sacked in 2021 as housing minister as a part of Boris Johnson's government. Oh, and the funny donor Kemi Bay not talked about is the fact that Jenrick accepted a £75,000 donation from a donor whose company had no employees and was £300,000 in debt. And the integrity issue that Badenoch is talking about is that Robert Jenrick is Robert Jenrick. And it may not be clear from his Play-Doh face, but Robert was not happy. I am proud of the way this long contest has been conducted. It is a great shame that Kemi has chosen at this last minute to sully that. If Kemi does this to Conservative colleagues, mm. this will be the death of the Conservative Party. Kemi, Kemi. This kind of garbage needs to end now. All right, but... The leadership contest finishes on Sunday. Enough time for a live debate. If the BBC won't put it on, I understand there's a pub in Runcorn that's available. Want a little more good news? How about this? Do you remember the email that Nigel Farage sent those Conservative councillors? An email offering to take them to the dark, darker side? Well, it's had an effect. Three councillors have defected to reform in Mansfield. Hang on. You can't just change party when you feel like it. Where's your loyalty? Take a leaf out of your local MP. Lee Anderson, oh, by the way, what's with the thumbs up sign? You're elected representative, not a five-a-side football team. Although if it was a five-a-side football team, there'd be heavy balance on the right wing. Now, obviously, that's not the good news. No, the good news was that last week, on the very day Farage sent the email, there were 13 by-elections and reform won zero seats. Zilch, nada, nothing. <laughs> Honestly. What a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you Wednesday. Take care.